Alright, welcome to the third tutorial on creating a virtual cluster using Oracle VirtualBox and Ubuntu Server. In this tutorial we're just going to set up the DHCP server that can interact with the DNS server we set up in the previous version, uh, well, previous video, to create a dynamic domain name service. So we already st installed the DHCP service in the previous video. So we're just going to configure it. So vim slash etc slash dhcp slash dhcp d dot conf and open it up. Then we want to set DDNS update style to interim. And there's another few options we have to add here. We want it to be authoritative. We need to add ddns to my name as testcluster.com. We want to add ddns minus rev minus to my name to be in address dot arpa. And we want ddns updates on. There's another few stuff we have to add at the top here. The RNDC key that we generated. Um, I still have mine in the clipboard from the previous video, so you can just paste it in there. And then we quickly need to add the zones as well. So just add zone.testcluster.com dot and then bracket, curly brackets. We have to set the primary to master.testcluster.com and the key to use the RNDC key that we have defined up there. And then we need to re add the reverse zone. So it's 11 point 11, sorry, 0 .0 point 0 point 11 dot in dash addr dot arpa dot space and primary master dot test cluster dot com and key rndc key and that should be it for the zones so now we go down here below the um, options these options we have to set as well. We ch so change the example.org to testcluster.com and the domain name servers to 11.0.0.1 and whatever your public domain name service is. Mine is 10.0.0.2. So those two settings we can leave alone. And then we start with the subnets. So declare your subnet 11.0.0.0, netmask 255.255.255.0, and then your curly brackets. So option routers is 11.0.0.1, option subnet mask that should be a dash subnet mask 255.255.255.0 option time offset minus 1800 oh 18000 and then option who range 11.0.0.1 to 11.0.0.254 and I believe that that is everything for the DHCP service so just right quit and then service DHCP no that should be IC dash DHCP dash server start well, that doesn't look promising. So, tail var log 
syslog hmm oh that option shouldn't be there so back to the configuration file go down and remove the option from the range just like that and then okay looks like the DHCP server is running so I'm going to switch over to node 1 welcome node 1 login as oh, login as Sinky so immediately switch over to root and then we need to set up the Ethernet interface again. So vim slash etc slash networks slash no slash network slash interfaces. This one is a bit easier. It's just auto eth zero. I face eth0 inet dhcp and that's it you can save and close the file and then if up no not if up eth0 yet we need to edit the dh client file first so that when the node connects it sends the um, host name to the dna service so vim slash etc slash dhcp slash dh client dash eth zero dot conf so in here we want to add send fqdn dot f fqdn dot fq yeah fqdn and then node zero one dot test cluster dot com semicolon send fqdn dot N. dot encoded should be on send fqdn dot server update is off and then also request fqdn dot dot fqdn that should be it uh, one last thing the hostname is still only node zero one so just hostname zero uh, one dot test cluster dot com and vim slash etc hostname add dot test cluster dot com to the end so write and quit and before I restart the network here I'm going to tell follow for log syslog so that I can see whether um, the, the record is actually updated in the master node oh another thing that I forget on the no master node constantly is the resolve.conf file you need to add your own name server the new name server to the top of the resolve.conf file so it's name server 11.0.0.1 and search testcluster.com and then home so right quit and then we can tell the file then on node 0 1 oopsie no go away I have up I have up eth 0 Well, uh, the node got an IP address at least, but it does not look like we were able to update the name server, the DNS record for that file. Mm, unable to forward, timed out. Okay. So I'll take a look at what's wrong with this 
uh, DNS and then I'll fix it in the next tutorial video. So thanks for watching.